The Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Alberta Grains, CNM Seeds, and Syngenta Canada. Find more episodes of The Wheat School by going to wheatschool.com. Hi, I'm Amber Bell, and this is Real Agriculture. I am headed out today to talk with Kelly Turkington, who is a plant pathologist with Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada. And I am very excited about this conversation. We're going to be talking about fungicide timing. So I hope that you're as excited as I am. And yeah, get ready for the video. If you look at fungicide application, I think the one factor, and we're seeing it from our research, colleagues in Saskatchewan, Grissa Heap Singh and Randy Kucher and colleagues in Manitoba, and of course in the States, is that fungicide timing is going to be key. And I think the current window that we have on the labels starts too soon. And it's in wheat about 75% head emergence, barley is about 70%. So that means 25% in wheat, 30% of the heads are either not out of the boot or they're partially out of the boot. So if you put a fungicide on at that time, you're only protecting, directly protecting the plant tissue in that head that is actually visible and out. Yeah. And so the recent research out of the states especially suggests there is a bit of a compromise in terms of suppression of symptoms, downgrading, and then production of dawn if you go uh, too early, so around the timing of head emergence, and it depends on how variable the crop is in terms of uh, uh, head emergence, establishment earlier in the season, higher seeding rates, good seed to soil contact, good seed, seed and seedling health, all promote a very uniform crop, which means a u uniform, uniform head emergence. And that means a more uniform target to hit. Mm -hmm. So the work that we've done and others in Saskatchewan and Manitoba and, and, and Manitoba, really probably the middle part of that window or even a bit towards the end of the window that we currently have. So um, if you can uh, make sure that most, if ideally all heads in the crop are out of the boot, Putting that fungicide on at that time will give you the best opportunity to suppress the disease and the, the dawn in terms of uh, trying to manage it effectively. The other challenge with fusarium that we often see is that, that there is this view that anthesis is the key time. And yes, it's an important period, but if you look at a lot of the research over the last hundred years, anthers are not necessarily needed for infection. Mm. And be, basically in small grain cereals, the key time for infection is from around flowering to about the milk or mid-milk stage. However, infections can occur beyond that. So if right. you look at 2006 in Manitoba or 2003 in the southeastern states, uh, the conditions initially around flowering were not overly conducive. So the, the symptomology in the crop wasn't there. The grain that was harvested wasn't showing FDKs, but because that infection came in a little later, you had superficial infections on that barley kernel or wheat kernel and production of dawn. So the kernels looked got fine. They graded a number one. Yeah. But when there was secondary quality control that was done by maltsters or millers or pasta makers, they were finding dawn levels that were of concern. So mm -hmm. that, you know, uh, I think waiting until after head emergence, because the key thing is maintaining a certain amount of fungicide concentration in that head, which then helps to control potential infections further into the grain filling period. Right, right. And um, the other challenge is fusarium isn't the only issue that producers are dealing in their, with in their cereal crops. So leaf spot diseases, tan spot septoria and wheat, net blotch, scald, spot blotch and barley are, are key things. And then of course the rust. Mm -hmm. So if you have a lot of development and signs that you see at the time of weed scouting or tillering, you know, and it, it's very easy to find and it's starting to move from the lower canopy into the middle canopy, that is a scenario where you might want to go in with a fungicide at flag leaf or maybe as early as growth stage 32 to control or provide some suppression of that leaf disease 
and then come back in after head emergence to get your FHB suppression and to top up your leaf control. Mm -hmm. And again, the key thing that we see in our research is the longer you can protect those upper canopy leaf leaves, so the flag leaf and weed especially, and penultimate leaf, barley, it's the penultimate leaf and the third leaf from the head, during that grain filling, so after fertilization has occurred, the better you right. can you see better thousand kernel weight, better bushel weight, improved yields, and 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 so on.